Amanda, I heard that you and Mom are coming over to visit me and my wife tomorrow. That's unexpected. It would have been helpful if you had given me more time to prepare. Hi, Connor. I'm sorry I couldn't reach you by text or call. That's why I asked your wife, Tiffany, and she kindly agreed to our visit. I sincerely hope that our presence won't cause any troubles or inconvenience for you and your wife. No, of course not. I would love for you to come over and pay us a visit. I assure you it won't cause us any problems at all. We simply want everything to be carefully prepared for when you and Mom arrive. You see, with Tiffany being pregnant with our first child, everything feels new, and we're still learning how to navigate our daily lives, which have been turned upside down. In fact, I'm still struggling to adjust to this new reality. Everything feels overwhelming to me. That sounds wonderful, Connor. Mom and I are genuinely about visiting you and your wife. I don't mean to boast, but I believe I can offer you and your wife valuable advice on pregnancy. As I have first-hand experience with my own two kids, if there's anything we can do to help, whether it's assisting with household tasks or offering support in any other way, Mom and I are more than happy to be of assistance. What are you saying, Amanda? As my guest, you shouldn't trouble yourselves with trivial tasks like domestic chores. Tiffany is perfectly capable of handling them all. She manages the cleaning, laundry, dishwashing, meal preparation, garbage disposal, yard work, grocery shopping, and more. I'm telling you, even at eight months pregnant, she tackles everything with remarkable strength, like a true workhorse. Are you sure that your wife can manage all of those tasks? It's generally advised to avoid heavy lifting, excessive bending or twisting, prolonged standing, and activities that could potentially lead to falls or injuries during pregnancy. Please pay more attention to her and see if there's anything you can do to help lighten her load. Perhaps she's somehow hesitant to express her fatigue. Don't worry about that. I guarantee that Tiffany is doing just fine. In fact, she always tells me that she loves doing housework because it helps her stay active and energetic. That's just the way Tiffany is. Always full of life and eager to be of use. Even when she's pregnant. Look, Connor, I'm glad to hear that Tiffany is still able to help around the house. But is her belly a little too big to take on all the chores you've just mentioned? I mean, she's already eight months pregnant. We have to consider the safety of both Tiffany and the child, too. You know, as a woman who experienced pregnancy firsthand, I know Tiffany's body is going through a lot of changes. is going through a lot of changes. She may be feeling tired and exhausted, shortness of breath, heartburn, leg cramps, and all that. I'm afraid she might not feel well enough to take on all the housework like she used to. What are you suggesting, Amanda? Do you know how busy I am with work? I have to go out there and work my fingers to the bones to provide for myself, Tiffany, and my unborn child. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to earn a living? Money doesn't just fall from the sky, you know. It takes time, effort, sweat, and tears. Tiffany stays at home, so the least she could do to contribute to our household is to help with the housework. Besides, she's happy with what she's doing, so what's the problem? Well, okay. If she's happy with it, then I guess it probably is fine for her, and I needn't worry too much. Glad you finally come to your senses and have some understanding of my situation. Don't get me wrong, I always ensure that each and every of her material needs are met. So naturally, she deserves to be treated with utmost care and reverence, like a queen. I'm glad to hear that you and Tiffany are doing well. Mom and I are planning to eat out at a restaurant near your house tomorrow. We don't want to bother Tiffany with cooking, so I thought maybe we could go to Gastronomic Delights together. I know you've heard of it, right? Would you and Tiffany like to join us? That's great! I've heard that Gastronomic Delights has the best seafood in town. I'm actually starting to get a little bored with my wife's cooking, too. She only cooks a few dishes lately, and it's always the same thing. It's either beef steak with mashed potatoes, pork chops, or pasta. I've told her that I'd like to try something new, but she hasn't really taken my advice. I'm the breadwinner of the family. I deserve to eat something more excited than the same old dishes every night. I'm sorry, Connor, but I'm sure Tiffany does the best she can, given the difficulty she's facing during her pregnancy. <sighs> You're probably right. After all, she's pregnant. I shouldn't be putting too much pressure on her. I should be more thoughtful and considerate towards Tiffany. That's great. How about this? Mom and I will arrive at the restaurant first to reserve a table for us all. Then we'll go to your house for a quick visit. I promise it won't be long. What do you think? Well, of course I don't mind you and Mom coming over to my house sometime to visit me and my wife. But about Tiffany, I don't want to ruin the mood for anyone, so I don't think we should invite her to dinner with us. Really? Why? Won't Tiffany feel left out? I mean, I mean, it's a family dinner, right? So I would love to ask her to join us. I know it'll be a great time for us to catch up on what we've missed during each other's lives. Well, the thing is, Tiffany doesn't like these places. I've asked her to eat out many times, but she's always refused. She says she's worried about the cleanliness and safety of restaurant food, 
and it makes her sick to eat it. She's concerned about the quality of restaurant food and prefers to cook her own meals to ensure that they are safe and nutritious. You know, that's how pregnant women always are, right? So demanding and hard to please. Um, well, that's totally fine with me too. As long as Tiffany is happy, then we should do it her way. Fine, then it's settled. We'll meet up at Gastronomic Delights Restaurant and have a grand time there. Oh, I can't wait. I honestly almost forgot what restaurant food tastes like. It's good to have a chance to it once in a while. I still feel sorry for Tiffany, though. I think I'm going to buy her something as a present on my way to the restaurant. There's no need, Amanda. It would simply be a pointless expenditure of money. Tiffany won't need it anyway, trust me. I'm sure that I already provide her with everything she could possibly need, so there's no need for you to buy her any extra items. What are you even suggesting? How could it possibly be a waste of money? Furthermore, let's be clear that what you buy and what I buy for her are two different things. Look, Amanda, why don't you ever think about me? You're always so focused on my wife, Tiffany, who isn't even your flesh and blood. Why don't you ever ask me if I need anything? Do you even consider me your biological brother anymore? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to offend you, but I always try to help you out financially whenever you ask me. Just last month, I sent you over $2,000 to help you take better care for Tiffany. You know, buy her all kinds of vitamins and essentials, remember? Do you need anything else? Fine, fine. I appreciate your help. I know you care about Tiffany, but she's a capable adult who can take care of herself. Please, don't sweat the small stuff. Okay then, if you say so. I hope you prioritize your wife's well-being, Connor. Hey Connor, thanks for having us over yesterday. It was great to remember the good old days. Of course, Amanda. I'm glad to welcome you and Mom to our place. Wow, I have to admit, I had the impression that you and Tiffany had hired a housekeeper or something. Your house looks incredibly organized and impeccably clean. I could hardly spot a speck of dust anywhere. Everything is so pristine and well-maintained. I must say, I truly admire you and Tiffany. My husband and I couldn't manage to keep things as well as you two did when I was pregnant with my first child. It's a bit embarrassing to admit, but our house was always a bit chaotic at the time. It felt like a bomb had gone off in our home more often than not, to be honest. See? I told you. Even though Tiffany is in her eighth month of pregnancy, she's still enthusiastic about keeping things clean. She never disappoints me when it comes to tasks like these. I know I can always rely on her to manage the household effectively. It's Tiffany's sacred duty and obligation to serve her husband with devotion and loyalty. And helping around the house is merely a child's play for her. Well, I have some other questions. It's okay, because I don't want to come across as nosy or intrusive. It's about you and Tiffany. Of course. Just tell me what's bothering you. I promise I'll try my best to resolve any of your concerns. What I'm trying to say is, I've noticed that you and Tiffany haven't been as close lately. Is there anything wrong? Remember, I'm always here to lend an ear if you need someone to talk to about anything. Anything wrong going on between me and Tiffany? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Can you be more specific? First, let's talk about you. Yesterday, during our dinner, you received a lot of texts and calls, and you had to excuse yourself to go somewhere else to respond to them. What was that about? It happened not just once or twice, but almost throughout the whole meal. It was simply work-related. You're well aware of how busy I am busy I am as a real estate broker, aren't you? It's part of my job to receive phone calls from clients and engage in conversations with them nearly all the time. I'm not trying to be accusatory, but the look on your face makes me wonder if it was someone else who was calling. Oh, come on. What are you even referring to now? This industry is highly competitive, with numerous individuals doing the same work as me. If I'm even a few minutes late in responding to my clients, they can easily seek out another broker and proceed with their transactions, potentially resulting in significant financial loss for me. It's really stressful. Okay, I see. I'm sorry that you're dealing with a lot of stress from your work. If you need anything, please don't hesitate to call me. I'd be happy to help you in any way I can. It's fine, as long as you understand. Another thing, I'm quite concerned about your wife. Concerned about your wife. Tiffany didn't seem happy at all during the whole time Mom and I visited your house. Is she feeling sad? To be honest, I'm a little worried about her. Is everything okay? My wife? Why are you asking me that? Of course she's fine. She's just pregnant, so she's probably feeling a little under the weather, and that's completely normal. You know how pregnant women are. There's no need to worry about her. She's better off resting by herself. 
Are you sure she's normal? I don't know. There's something about her vibe that seems different. I can't quite put my finger on it. What are you talking about? To me, Tiffany seems to be perfectly normal. I haven't seen any changes in her behavior or demeanor at all, even the slightest. Well, I'm not sure how to say this, but Tiffany seems a little down. I've never seen her like this before. Also felt like she was trying to distance herself from me and mom. Her behavior was a little cold and detached. It's like she doesn't even want us to be there. Can you ask her if she's feeling uncomfortable around us? Amanda, I think you're overreacting. Tiffany is just pregnant. She's going through a lot of changes, and it's normal for her to be a little moody. That's how all pregnant women should behave, right? Really? Are you sure about that? I mean, the Tiffany I know would never behave like that. She was always so full of life and energy, always greeting everyone with a smile. But now she looks so down and gloomy. I even saw her eye bags, and I caught her secretly sighing to herself. Hmm, I've been holding back on saying this, but if I must be honest, Tiffany isn't fond of having guests over. Additional guests mean more cleaning and added responsibilities for her. Look, I know you're trying to be nice, but you're just making things worse. Why don't you just relax and give her some space? I'm really sorry. I didn't realize that visiting you would put more burden on Tiffany. Honestly, Mom and I would love to help her out with the housework. And we did offer our assistance, but she refused. That's totally fine, Amanda. As I mentioned, Tiffany enjoys doing things on her own and usually doesn't appreciate other people's help, even mine. It's best that we just leave her alone. I don't know, Connor. The more I think about it, the more I feel like I should do something to make it up to her. I think I should go out of my way to apologize for my sudden visit. Don't be silly, sis. There's no need for extravagant gestures. I understand that you're already busy taking care of two already busy taking care of two children, so you don't need to overly concern yourself with how Tiffany feels. Just focus on living your life, and I assure you that Tiffany and I will be absolutely fine. All right, I understand. Please make sure to look out for Tiffany. She's an amazing woman and she deserves to be treated with utmost love and care. I trust that you will take good care of her, Connor. Hello, Tiffany. It's Amanda. How are you doing today? Is everything all right? Oh, hey, Amanda. Yes, I'm feeling fine. What's the matter? Nothing special, really. I just wanted to reach out and apologize for dropping by your place with such short to that extent. We visited because you had given us the green light, so I hope you understand. What are you saying, Amanda? Your visit didn't bother me in the slightest, not even a bit. In fact, I genuinely enjoyed having you and your mom around. The house has felt quite empty lately, so your presence was truly appreciated. In fact, I would love it if you could come and visit us more often. Really? That's quite strange, because the story I heard from Connor is completely different. He mentioned that you prefer not to have guests over due to the additional cleaning involved. I genuinely want to visit you more often, but whenever I suggest it, Connor doesn't seem enthusiastic about the idea. On one occasion, he even expressed frustration when I said that I wanted to visit you both. To be honest, I'm concerned about Connor's recent behavior. He seems more withdrawn and irritable lately, and I'm worried about how it's affecting you and your child. He's just adjusting to the new reality of becoming a parent. So whenever you visit us, please feel at ease. Make yourself comfortable and enjoy your time. You know that I have long considered you as my sister, even if not by blood. Thank you for your kind words, Tiffany. In that case, would you mind if I ask you a somewhat personal question? This might be uncomfortable to talk about, but I think it's important to know everything. Of course, Amanda. Please go ahead and tell me what's on your mind. What has been troubling you? It's just that I noticed something unusual when I visited your house the other day. I mean, I find it hard to believe that you, being eight months pregnant, can manage everything in your house so impeccably on your own. The house appears nearly spotless and incredibly well organized. Well, that's not a big deal, sis. Responsibilities on my own. You see, my mother passed away when I was very young, so I had to assume all of the household chores in my family. It's something I've grown accustomed to over time. In addition, I found out something even more puzzling. And this is the one that confuses me the most. What is it, Amanda? Just go ahead and tell me. Remember, we're family, so there's no need to keep anything hidden between us. 
The thing is, while I was at your house, I unintentionally opened the door to the basement. To my surprise, it wasn't the dark and cluttered basement I expected. It's still filled with various items, but it's quite clean. I even noticed a pillow, sheet, and blanket in there. It's almost as if someone is actually living in the basement. However, considering there are only two people in your house, you and your husband, it raises the question of who could possibly be sleeping down there. Did you hire a housekeeper or someone of that sort? sort? That's not exactly an easy question to answer, but... What do you mean? Is there something wrong going on between you and Connor? Please be honest with me. As you mentioned, you've always regarded me as your biological sister. But there's no need for us to keep secrets from each other. If you are facing any form of injustice or mistreatment, rest assured that I will stand by your side and help you overcome it. You can always count on me for support. Honestly, I'm not sure where to begin. It all started when I discovered what Connor has been doing behind my back. I don't know if I should even tell you this or not. <gasps> Connor has been doing something behind your back? Don't worry, just tell me everything. This conversation is strictly between me and you. My lips are sealed. What you just said is true. Someone has indeed been living in the basement, and that someone in the basement, and that someone is me. In other words, the basement is my room. Excuse me? You've been living in the basement? Why is that? I thought you and Connor shared the same bedroom. We used to share the same bedroom, but that was before I discovered that Connor has been cheating on me. What? My brother has been cheating on you? That's absolutely unacceptable. I can't believe he would do something so awful to you. And forgive me for asking, but you're not sleeping in the basement by choice, are you? Right. It's not my choice to sleep in the basement. Is, by any chance, is my brother forcing you to do that? I'm, I'm sorry. Perhaps it's my fault that things have turned out this way. I shouldn't have shared any of this with you. Tiffany, why are you... Tiffany, why are you apologizing? If my brother cheated on you and even made you sleep in the basement, then it is he who should be apologizing to you, not the other way around. I don't know. I suppose so, but maybe I'm just a useless wife like your brother always says. That's why I should know my place and live in the basement like he told me to. What? No! That's not true! You are an incredible wife, and my brother is fortunate to have married someone as amazing as you. Connor is the one who was completely in the wrong here. I can't believe he made you sleep in the basement, especially during the winter. It's unimaginable to think of you living in that dark, cold space without proper heating, relying on only a thin blanket for warmth. How could Connor even consider doing something so cruel to his own wife? I'm speechless and utterly shocked right now. Why didn't you tell me or anyone about this sooner, Tiffany? I'm sorry, Amanda. It's really difficult for me to talk about this. In fact, I shouldn't have said anything at all. I'm terrified of what Connor might do to me if he finds out I told you everything. Tiffany, please listen to me. Everything is going to be okay. I'm here for you. And I promise to support you to the best of my abilities. I understand that this is a challenging situation for you to open up about. But would you mind sharing a bit more background information on why this is happening? It'll help me better understand the situation and find ways to assist you. But if Connor finds out I said anything, he won't go easy on me. I don't know if this is a good idea or not, Amanda. I promise I won't say a word. And even if Connor did find out somehow, I'd have your back. I mean it. Worry about me. I don't want to bring any trouble in your life. Besides, I really don't have anywhere else to go. This place is all I have. Please, Tiffany, listen to me. It's clear that Connor is abusing you, and you can't continue enduring the situation. This needs to stop. Would it be possible for you to reach out to your father and ask if he would be willing to let you stay with him for a short time? While we figure out a more permanent solution? No, please. My dad is even worse. He hates me and he doesn't care about me in the slightest. He made it abundantly clear that he wanted me gone as soon as possible. Even if I did go back, he would just send me straight away. I see. I didn't know that you or your dad don't get along so well. Don't worry, Tiffany. Just leave everything to me, okay? I promise I won't do anything that makes your life more difficult. Hey, worthless piece of garbage. 
I'll be coming home earlier than usual today, so be sure to cook me a delicious meal that can satisfy my taste buds. Or else, prepare to face my wrath when I get home. I know you won't want to disappoint me, right? What? Worthless piece of garbage? Is this seriously what you call other people? What's so surprising? Worthless piece of trash is only one of the thousand nicknames I gave you. By the way, did you finish all the housework I assigned you? I want the whole place to sparkle when I get back. Don't even think about slacking off on your responsibilities. You really need to watch your mouth, Connor. Start treating your own wife with some respect. Excuse me, Tiffany? Are you seriously calling me out? You seem really suspicious lately. Whenever I see you, you're always on your phone texting someone. What are you up to, you conniving little wench? Are you cheating on me? I'm the only one who has the right to cheat on you, do you hear me? What a useless moron. You're only good at wasting my time. Are you even listening to yourself, Connor? You sound like some uneducated jerk. Pardon me, you seem to have gotten bigger for your boots, huh? Am I overindulging you? It seems like sleeping in the basement is still a luxury that a scumbag like you don't deserve. Maybe I should just lock you up in a dog cage to make you know your place in this household. I'm really not happy about this, Connor. You seriously need to stop. Oh, you're not happy. What are you going to do about it? Are you going to cry yourself to sleep? Ha ha. Yeah, that's what you always do, filthy rat. Another thing, I need you to know your place and stay as far away from my sister as possible. Don't even think of taking advantage of her kindness or doing anything that might raise suspicion in her. If you do, I'll make you suffer a living hell, and it would be worse than last time. A living hell? What are you talking about, Connor? You're way out of line! So now you even have the nerve to talk back at me, don't you? Good job, you insolent little worm. You thought you'd become something, huh? Let me knock some sense into your head. You are nothing. You are just an ignorant housewife. And now that you're pregnant, you're even more useless than you were before. Is that the only thing you're good at? Eating and getting pregnant? You're such a pig, Tiffany. I told you to get rid of the child, but you refused. Now take the consequences of your actions. Don't even think you can rely on my mom or my sister for protection. They have their own lives to take care of, and they surely won't have time for trash like you. You really are cruel, Connor. I can't believe you would become like this. What on earth are you blabbering about? Something has gotten into you today. Looks like I have to take stronger measures to keep you disciplined. Fine, then I'll have no choice but to take away your freedom. I've already bought a couple of chains, and I'll keep you chained in the basement so that you can't go wild and say things you're not supposed to say. Besides, it's not like you have anywhere else to go, is it? Your father practically disowned you. In fact, he tossed you aside like the piece of garbage you are. Which means you'll be stuck here in the basement for the ha <laughs> ha I'll be glad to see you rock to death there while my mistress Lucy and I spend our happy lives together. So this is how you've been talking to your wife? I'm so disappointed in you. I never thought you would be capable of treating someone so cruelly. Mark my words, Connor. You will face the consequences for your actions against Tiffany, your own wife. What on earth do you mean? Do you really think that your pathetic threats are enough to frighten me? I'm being more than generous by letting you stay here. So don't make me kick your sorry ass out of this house, you lowlife scum! House? What house, Connor? This isn't your house anymore. Huh? What are you babbling about? Am I not talking to my wife? Is this Tiffany's phone number? Listen up, Connor. Mom is here with me and Tiffany, and we're all furious at you for how you've been treating your wife. She's decided that you're not welcome in this house anymore. This is her house, and she's taking it back from you. What? Uh, Amanda? I didn't know that it was you at all. Please, listen to me. This is all just a big misunderstanding. I thought I was talking to Tiffany. I know you've been having an affair with your boss's wife, and I'm disgusted. 
That's why I've sent all of your belongings to your boss's place. I'm sure he'll be thrilled to see them. Now, get out of our lives and never come back. What the hell did you do? You mailed all of my belongings to my boss's place? Are you out of your mind? Yes, you heard correctly. In addition to that, Tiffany is taking legal action against you for the emotional and physical harm you have caused her. Your actions will not go unpunished, Connor. You will be held accountable for the heinous crime you committed against your own. The consequences of your behavior are catching up to you, and justice will be served. What? Taking legal actions against me? No, please don't do that. I know I made some mistakes, but I'm begging you to give me a chance to redeem myself. I promise I'll come clean and I'll become a better man. I know I shouldn't have treated Tiffany the way I did, and I'm truly sorry for hurting her. I never meant to do that. I love her and I want to make things right. Please, Amanda, I'm begging you. Pick up the phone. I need to talk to you. Amanda! Ultimately, Connor was sentenced to prison for his acts of domestic abuse, and he was required to provide Tiffany with significant financial compensation. The inhumane and repugnant treatment he inflicted upon his own wife, Tiffany, warranted the, warranted the harshest punishment for his crime. Justice was served to ensure that such behavior would not go unpunished. Tiffany initiated divorce proceedings, and not long after, she welcomed a precious baby boy into the world. In order to create a fresh start for Tiffany, my mother made the decision to sell the previous house, which held painful memories from her time with Connor, and purchase a new apartment specifically for her. This new living space would provide Tiffany with a sense of renewal and a chance to leave behind the negative associations of the